Good morning, Keith seems to say as he prepares for a busy day. Keith doesn't really need any help to leave his box, but Rosemary Flay nursed him as a baby, and like all mothers, she forgets he's almost grown up. Yes, Keith is two years old and will be fully grown at four years of age. Morning exercise is fun, keeps a fellow's muscles in trim for digging. For their size, wombats are the strongest pouched animals in the world and sometimes weigh as much as a hundred pounds. When you've worked up an appetite, that's the time to eat. Grass, shrub roots, the inner bark of trees, and tender centers of sword grass are favorites. The cost of food is no problem to Keith. But learning table manners from Rosemary is quite a problem. of course, doesn't like eating the way we do, and really prefers to choose his own menu. Keith is very fond of Rosemary, and follows her wherever she goes. He likes the shade, for bush wombats usually sleep underground during the day. Keith takes the lead when heading for home, for there's always a treat in store. Drinks for the weary traveler. Keith is well equipped with spade-like nails for digging, and with strong front teeth for gnawing through roots. These teeth grind together and grow continually. With such teeth, nails and their heavy weight, wombats go where they please at night and let others worry about damaged fences during the day. Old wombat burrows were so big that early convicts hid in them to escape. Inside the burrow, a wombat can crush its enemy to death. Keith barely feels a golf ball on his tough skin back. Wombats have long nails on their hind paws for scratching and combing their fur. But let Rosemary find Keith scratching, and it's into the tub for a rub and a scrub. Keith enjoys a little soft soaping, but he likes his freedom better. The first thing he does after every bath is to get rid of that clean feeling and make straight for his favorite log. Like all wombats, Keith loves to rub his hard back against the rough inside of a hollow log, for he can't reach his back with his claws. No wonder it's difficult getting him out. Although Keith follows Rosemary faithfully, his low-slung body makes it hard for him to cross streams, and he often needs a helping hand. But don't worry, if Keith should fall, he can really swim quite well. Just after he was born, Keith crawled into his mother's pouch. It was an unusual pouch, as it opened backwards, not upwards like the kangaroos. 
Because wombats have pouches, they are called marsupials. After four and a half months in the pouch, Keith would have trotted behind his mother like a puppy. But mother was hit by a careless car driver, and he was taken from her pouch when only a pink little baby, just like this one. Keith grew quickly under Rosemary's care, and at the age of 11 weeks, looked as funny as a rabbit. For six months, he was fed on milk from an eyedropper, then from a baby's bottle, and kept warm with hot water bottles. Today, weighing 40 pounds, he's as big a baby as ever. Keith can't perspire, so he pants hard to keep cool. His nearest marsupial relative, the koala, keeps cool in the treetops. Well, it's been a tiring day, and so to bed, to dream of brothers and sisters in their burrows in eastern Australia and Tasmania. Uh -huh. Good night, folks.